first let's start with preparing your database. The better your database is structured, the more Iron Speed Designer can do. Iron Speed Designer specifically takes advantage of things in your database like primary key relationships, foreign key relationships, database views, and so forth to construct pages very, very quickly for you. The more you have those relationships expressed in your database, the more Iron Speed Designer can generate. For example, you'll get more web pages if you have primary keys. You'll get sophisticated master detail pages if you have foreign key relationships uh, declared, and so forth. Moreover, if you declare those relationships in your database and structure your database properly before starting with Iron Speed Designer, it'll save you a lot of um, time downstream when you have to go back and correct and change pages because your database structure wasn't set up properly. One of the first and most important things you can do is to create child tables for your one-to-many relationships. These child tables really are the backbone of master detail pages. For example, if you have a customer's page with a set of orders on it, there's a master record, which is the customer record, and a detail or child table, which is a set of orders. Similarly, if you happen to have an order, that order may have multiple line items uh, uh, as a detail for the order. So again, there's a one-to-many relationship. So in your database, uh, normalize it so that you really factor out the one-to-many relationships. That's very, very important. The second thing you can do is to uh, separate or normalize out your lookup tables. Lookup tables tend to express things like uh, uh, shippers. If you have an order, it might have a shipper that shipped that order, better express, UPS, and so forth. Those we call lookup tables, and Iron Speed Designer uses those lookup tables to create drop-down lists for data entry. So when you're typing in your order, you just pull from a drop-down list and select Federal Express, or you click a radio button. We also use these in our display foreign key as facility. So when you're looking at that order, it says Federal Express as opposed to 7, you know, uh, an ID value. The third thing you can do is build database views in your database to express complex relationships between tables. At the end of the day, Iron Speed Designer is not a SQL query construction tool. There are great tools for that, most of which come already with your database. You'll find database views are very useful for creating multi-table joins where you need to join together information for multiple uh, tables, expressing complex queries where you have ORs, knots, nested queries, distinct, uh, where you're trying to count things, and, and so forth. There's a great language called SQL for expressing those relationships, so I would heartily encourage you to use a database view to implement those. Then you can just simply point Iron Speed Designer at that database view, and it'll create a whole suite of pages around that database view. Next as I mentioned earlier, is declaring primary keys in your database. This probably goes without saying because most databases do have primary key relationships declared, but just in case, Iron Speed Designer uses primary key relationships to generate show record, edit record, and edit table pages. In other words, we need a primary key value to grab a hold of a specific record so we can show it to you either for display purposes or for editing purposes. Now, if you don't have a primary key declared in your database, you can create a virtual primary key in Iron Speed Designer. That's essentially an instruction to Iron Speed Designer telling Designer to treat that field as if it were a primary key, even though that relationship's not explicitly declared in the database. This is particularly important for database views. Most database views don't necessarily have explicitly declared primary keys. So you want to use the VF, excuse me, the VPK facility in Designer to declare that field in your view as a primary key. Similarly, declare foreign keys in your database. Foreign keys are used to generate master detail pages where you might show, uh, for example, an order and then multiple line items uh, uh, for that order. That's the one-to-many relationship. In essence, every page in Iron Speed Designer is automatically a master detail uh, page. In fact, you can have many levels of master detail expressed within a given page. So it can be a parent, child, grandchild, great-great-grandchild, and so forth. But in order to do that, Iron Speed Designer needs to know the foreign key relationship. 
Now, again, with database views, you may not have ex explicitly declared the foreign key relationship in your database. Just like you could with primary keys, you can instruct designer through a virtual foreign key mechanism to treat a particular field or fields as foreign keys. Okay? And we'll just generate the code treating those fields as foreign keys. Here's how you create virtual primary keys and virtual foreign keys in designer. You can do this from several places. One is the databases menu in the pull-down menus. Just select create new virtual primary key or uh, in the application wizard there's a step called keys which has a button which says add a uh, new virtual foreign key or a virtual primary key. Okay. Both of these are very easy to create. In the case of a primary key, you're just designating a field, or in the case of a composite field, multiple fields, as representing the primary key. In the case of foreign keys, you're just declaring the from field and the to field, the one side of the relationship to the many side of the relationship. 